Greetings dear friends, Dragon here once again. If it's your first time stumbling onto my tiny little corner of the YouTubes, then do please consider clicking the red button and subscribing if you like what I do. So today is Saturday the 29th of April, and yesterday saw Arrow releasing the full details of their upcoming Bruce Lee box set, so I thought we'd dive into it together and take a little look. So consider this rumour control. These are the facts. So there's three different box sets. Two of these are 4K and differ only in the cover art, um, exactly the same contents. And then there is also a Blu-ray version of the box set, uh, which has all the same special features and just obviously doesn't have any 4K discs. This is a UK only release. So all the Blu-rays across all three box sets, because there are some Blu-rays in both of the 4K sets, are all region Bs. So if you're outside the UK or you're in the States, you're going to need a multi-region machine. Otherwise, you are not going to be able to play the Blu-ray elements of the set. So without any further rambling, let us jump into it. So there's three different box sets in total. Like I say, two of these are 4K sets and one is a Blu-ray only set. Uh, the first, the yellow box, as I will refer to it from here on out, is the Arrow website exclusive. So you can only get that from Arrow's own site in the UK. And that's the one featuring artwork on the outside and inside by Tom Ralston. If you're not familiar with Tom Ralston's work, he does quite a lot of stuff for Shout um, over in the States. So he recently did their Sunny Chiba box set, uh, the two Jackie Chan box sets and their Tiger Cage box set. That's all Tom Ralston's art. And the other two box sets which differ only in that one is a 4K and one is a Blu-ray set, which we refer to as the red boxes, and um, have artwork on the outside and inside by the wonderful Tony Stella. Tony Stella, if you're a regular visitor to this channel, you shouldn't need any introduction to, but if it's a, a name that you're not familiar with, um, Tony Stella, pretty prolific, does a huge amount of covers for, uh, for Criterion, a lot of work for Eureka, a lot of work for Arrows. He did their Street Fighter trilogy collection very recently. He also did Bullet Train over for Eureka, Violent Streets for Eureka. Pretty much any Japanese release that's coming out of Eureka just now has the, the art done by Tony Stella. And recently from Criterion, uh, Tony also did Last Hurrah for Chivalry, a uh, John Woo movie. Let's take a look at what you actually get in the set. So I'm going to run through the 4K box sets. Um, obviously, if you translate all of this across to the regular Blu-ray, you're just not going to have the 4K discs, but everything else will be the same. So disc one is the big boss. And we're getting a 4K UHD presentation in Dolby Vision of a 99-minute 1983 version of The Big Boss. This is newly restored by Arrow from the original negative. Original newly restored lossless Mandarin, English and Cantonese mono audio. Two separate English mono options, the standard mix and the Japanese mix with the alternative score. And newly translated subs. Two commentary tracks on this, one by David Desser and one by Brandon Bentley. Brandon has very often said that The Big Boss is his favourite movie of all time. Uh, Brandon did the commentary track on Criterion's Bruce Lee, His Greatest Hits box set, but this is an all-new commentary recorded specifically for the Arrow set. Brandon has been heavily involved in this box set. You'll hear his name coming up quite a lot as we go through the various special features. And we get Return to Thailand, a new documentary produced and presented by Matt Rutledge, exploring the original filming locations. Newly uncovered deleted and extended scenes with optional commentary by Brandon Bentley. Uh, the Not Quite Biggest Boss, a video essay by Bentley investigating the scenes still lost, such as the infamous Saw in the Head scene. Archive interviews with co-star Lai Wing and stuntman Tung Wai. Bruce Lee vs Peter Thomas, a short video essay about the music for the English version. Ultimate credit sequence, a trailer gallery including a Before the Big Boss reel and a trailer for the Lost sequel, The Big Boss Part 2, and an image gallery. And we see here the artwork for the two respective versions. So you will see the yellow box and the red box in our artwork as I've been talking through the contents. Then we move into disc two, which is also the big boss, but this is the, the kind of the new and completely exclusive, the Mandarin cut. So the longer version than we've previously seen. And again, we're getting a 4K UHD disc in Dolby Vision, but offering three alternate versions of the big boss with lossless mono audio. Uh, all again, all newly restored by Arrow. So we get the brand new 110 minute Mandarin cut with restored Mandarin audio, the 100 minute English export cut featuring a rare alternate English dub track, and the 100 minute US theatrical cut, a new restored English subs for the Mandarin cut. Axis of English, a brand new video essay by Will Offit, profiling the English dubbing actress for the Big Boss, Fist of Fury and Way of the Dragon. We also get an unrestored raw scan of the Mandarin cut, the scan before any restoration is done, so you can basically see it looking much the same way as most of us saw this growing up in pretty ropey quality, but kind of nice to have a sort of retro quality release on the set. That rounds out the Big Boss element of the set. Moving on to disc three, which gets us into Fist of Fury. And again, we're getting the 4K UHD presentation newly restored by Arrow from the original negative, an alternate English export cut viewing option with different opening and closing credits via seamless branching, original newly restored Mandarin, English and Cantonese mono audio, and again, two English mono options, the standard mix and the Japanese mix, again with alternate music. 
uh, newly translated subs, uh, two feature commentaries this time, one by the wonderful Jonathan Clements, a huge fan of Jonathan Clements' commentaries. Uh, he has done quite a bit of work for Arrow already. He's on the Shaw Scope Volume 1 and Volume 2 box set. So you might remember him from his commentaries on all releases for Manga UK. Um, he did the Vampire Hunter D and the original Colgo 13, the animated movie commentaries back in the day. We also get a separate commentary track by Brandon Bentley, uh, Legend of the Dragon, a newly filmed 80 minute overview of Bruce Lee's life and career by film critic and historian Tony Rains, everybody's favourite Kung Fu uncle, uh, Visions of Fury, a new feature on Bruce Lee's collaboration with Golden Harvest and Lil Wei, featuring interviews with co-producer Andrew Morgan and martial arts experts Michael Wirth, Frank Jen, John Crane, Andy Cheng and Bruce Willow. Uh, archive interviews with co-stars Nora Mao, Riki Hashimoto, Jun Katsumura and Yun Wa, an alternate credit sequence, a trailer gallery including a Chen Gen trailer reel and image gallery and that rounds out Fist of Fury. Disc 4 takes us into the Way of the Dragon and again no surprises we're getting the 4K UHD presentation of the film in Dolby Vision. Again newly restored by Arrow from the original film elements of the Hong Kong theatrical cut and the Japanese cut using seamless branching again. Original newly restored lossless Mandarin English and Cantonese mono audio on the Hong Kong theatrical cut and an alternate lossless English mono audio on the Japanese cut. And again, newly translated English subs. Two brand new commentaries, one by Frank Jen, joined by Michael Worth. Their commentaries together are always absolutely fantastic and a separate standalone commentary by Brandon Bentley. If you've checked out any of Brandon's commentaries before, they're always incredibly well researched, really entertaining. So excited to hear what he's done across all four movies actually. And The Way of the Camera, a new documentary looking at Lee's filmmaking and fighting method in his directorial debut, featuring interviews with Golden Harvest producer Andrew Morgan, martial arts experts Michael Worth, John Kreng, Andy Cheng, Frank Jeng, David Jung, film historian Courtney Joyer and actress uh, Piet or Peter Schwer, John Ben and John Saxon, uh, Meet the Italian Beauty, a newly filmed interview with star Melissa Longo, The Scottish Soldier Meets the Dragon, one of particular personal interest to me, a newly filmed interview with on-set observer John Young, a newly recorded select scene commentary by thug actor Piet Schwer, and archive interviews with co-stars John Ben, Bob Wall and Huang in Sheik, and production managers Chaplin Chang and Lewis Sitt, a trailer gallery including a, an all new Bruceploitation trailer reel and an image gallery. Disc 5 takes us to Enter the Dragon. Yes, Enter the Dragon is on the box set. I'm still seeing a huge amount of people very confused about this fact, but it is just a straight reproduction of the 40th anniversary Blu-ray from Warner Video. So even if you buy the 4K set, this is the first regular Region B Blu-ray that's going to be included in the set. So once again, to reiterate, you're going to need a multi-region machine if you're in the States to access any of the Blu-ray discs that are in the set. Warner have announced themselves they're doing a 4K UHD release of Enter the Dragon, which is scheduled to come on the 8th of August. Uh, but no more information on that at the time that I'm making this video. So the features that are on this disc are identical to the, the already available 40th anniversary edition of Enter the Dragon. So we're getting a commentary by Michael Allen and producer Paul Herrer. Featurettes No Way As Way, Wing Jun, the art that introduced Kung Fu to Bruce Lee. A Return to Hans Island, Blood and Steel, the good old making of Enter the Dragon and Bruce Lee in his own words. Backyard Workout with Bruce, a Curse the Dragon documentary, interviews with Linda Lee Cadwell, a 1973 archive featurette, Hong Kong with Enter the Dragon, and theatrical trailer and TV spots. So yeah, if you've already got one of the Warner releases, I suspect that's probably going to be a disc that you already have. And I don't think the quality is going to be as good as Criterion's version of Enter the Dragon that's on the Bruce Lee, his greatest hits box set. If you're wanting just, or you're only interested in Enter the Dragon, hold fire and see what Warners do come August when they release their own standalone version of Enter the Dragon remastered in 4K. And disc six, so we jump back to a 4K UHD disc. We get the first of several Game of Death discs. So this is the, the 4K UHD presentation, newly restored from the original film elements of the international cut and the Japanese cut, again using seamless branching. Once again, newly restored English mono audio on both cuts. A brand new feature commentary by Brandon Bentley, though this time joined by the wonderful Mike Leader. Uh, the song I'm Singing Tomorrow, a newly filmed interview with star Colleen Camp. Deleted and extended scenes from the Chinese language versions of the film, including two alternate endings, which contain some standard definition material mixed in with the, the 4K UHD remaster. Archive interviews with co-stars Dan Innocento and Bob Wall. Behind the scenes footage as featured in Bruce Lee the Legend. Rare pre-production sales featurette from 1976, with all new commentary by Michael Worth um, and producer Andre Morgan. Fight scene dailies, directed by Samuel Hung. A locations featurette from 2013. A trailer gallery including Bruce Boitation and Robert Klaus at Golden Harvest trailer reels and an image gallery. Disc 7 is we're jumping back onto regular Region B Blu-ray and this is called uh, Game of Death the Alternate Versions. So we're getting high def uh, 1080p presentations of the Chinese version of the film. 
um, original lossless Mandarin and Cantonese mono audio there, newly translated English subs, Archive interviews with Casanova Wong from 2001 on his relationship with Samuel Hung and Bruce Lee's influence on him. Two alternate Cantonese and Mandarin versions of the film in high def via seamless branching with different credits ending and reinstated uh, Ji Han Jie fight containing some standard definition material. Archive featurettes on Lee's life and impact, the Hong Kong connection, Bruce Lee remembered, Legacy of the Dragon, Dragon Rising and the Grand Master and the Dragon featuring interviews with Samuel Hung, Donnie Yen, William Cheng and many others and archive interviews with Robert Lee, Phoebe Lee, Pat Johnson, George Lee, Jean LaBelle, Van Williams, John Ternavuria, Jeff Amada, Linda Palmer, Fred Weintraub, Tom Kuhn, Paul Heller and James Liu. That rounds out disc seven. Disc eight is the Game of Death bonus disc. Again, this is on regular Region B Blu-ray and this is gonna give us the final Game of Death, a brand new three hour video essay by Arrow Films that incorporates a new 2K restoration of all two hours of Lee's original dailies from a recently discovered interpositive. That's pretty huge. So you'll see basically warts and mistakes and all, but I don't think anyone's ever given us every last sliver of footage that, that Bruce originally shot for Game of Death. Pretty exciting. Uh, Game of Death Revisited, an earlier attempt to reconstruct Lee's original vision from 2001. Uh, Super 8 footage from 1974 of uh, Dan and Santo demonstrating in Chaka. Brief archival interview with Kareem abdul Jarrah from 1976 and an image gallery. Uh, disc 9, again on standard Region B Blu-ray, and this gives us Game of Death 2. It's a brand new 2K restoration of the international cut of the film titled Game of Death 2 by Arrow Films from the original film Elements. A high-def Blu-ray presentation of Game of Death 2, as well as the Hong Kong theatrical cut titled Tower of Death, which contains, again, some standard death material. Original lossless mono audio on Game of Death 2, and original lossless Cantonese, Mandarin and English mono on Tower of Death. Uh, brand new, uh, again, brand new translated subs and a brand new feature commentary by Frank Jen and Michael Worth, co-producers of the Enter the Clones of Bruce Lee, an archive interview with co-star Roy Haran, the alternate Korean version with unique footage presented in high def with original lossless mono audio and newly translated English subs, an alternate US video version in high def with lossless English mono again via seamless branching, alternate end credit sequence for Game of Death 2, trailer gallery and image gallery, and disc 10, the last disc of the set, once again, a Region B Blu-ray, uh, and that's giving us high-def presentations of Bruce Lee, The Man and the Legend from 1973 and Bruce Lee, The Legend from 1984. Original lossless Mandarin mono audio for The Man and the Legend and lossless um, English mono audio for both films. Again, newly translated English subs. An alternate video version of The Legend featuring different editing and credits um, presented in standard def and SD only. Ar an archive video tour of uh, Golden Harvest Studios conducted in the mid-1990s by Russell Cawthorn, the writer of Bruce Lee, The Legend. Alternate animated Hong Kong credits for Into the Dragon and trailers and image galleries for both films. Now in all three box sets we also get on the printed materials side, uh, you're getting a, a pretty big stack of stuff. You're getting a 200 page hardbound book featuring new writing by Walter Cho, Henry Blythe, Andrew Stanton, Dylan Chung, David West and James Flower. 24 lobby card reproductions, 10 glossy photos of Bruce Lee in action and a reversible poster with vintage quad poster artwork pretty loaded. So yes, the box set is quite expensive. I've seen quite a few people expressing a degree of outrage about how expensive the box set is. I think at the moment it's sitting at a pre-order price of £120 for the, the 4K UHD sets and £110 for the regular Blu-ray set. This will absolutely come down if the Shawscope box sets are anything to go by. So if you're balking at the price, just wait, be patient, and I'm sure you'll be able to kind of get it at quite a bit cheaper if you wait till after release. All three sets coming on the 17th of July. Not too sure if they will ship early if you pre-order from Arrow, they usually do. So I suspect we'll probably see them starting to, to ship out about a week or so before the actual official release date. But for me, pretty pretty incredible, really. I think it's looking like a really good, incredibly loaded box set. Very intrigued to see what Arrow's done with the restorations. But for me, much more intrigued to see the special features, really, because there's a whole bunch of new content, a whole bunch of new footage we've not seen before. A lot to be excited about. Still seeing quite a lot of folks having something to grumble with, as is always the case. But for me, I think this is absolutely a good thing. It's a great move for Arrow to do. And about time that we got a really kind of kick-ass um, Bruce Lee box set here in the UK. Uh, the US has had the Criterion set for a couple of years. And up until this point, the Criterion set has been my kind of go-to. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the box set. If there's any more information, I will do another little updated release. And I'm really hoping that I can hopefully jump into these disc by disc as I've previously done with our Shawscope box set. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, now is a great time to do so. Thank you so much again for joining me. I've been the Fanatical Dragon. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.